Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. On February 18, 2025, when ASML CEO Peter Wenning publicly accused China's self-developed lithography machine of destroying the global industrial chain, Shanghai Microelectronics, SMEE, was delivering the sixth domestically produced 28 nanometer lithography machine to BYD. The anxiety of ASML, the Dutch lithography machine giant, is very similar to Kodak's panic when facing digital cameras. In 2024, ASML exported 60 UV lithography machines to China, but in the same year, China's self developed lithography machine orders exceeded 50 units and the price was only one-third of imported equipment. When China has established a foothold with mature processes, how long can ASML's technological hegemony last? In 2018, the US ban stopped the production of Huawei Kirin chips, and SMIC stopped supplying equipment below 10 nanometers. In September 2024, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology issued the catalog of the first major technical equipment, and the domestic argon fluoride lithography machine was officially listed with a performance of 193 nanometers wavelength and 65 nanometers resolution. Three months later, Shanghai Microelectronics delivered the first 28 nanometers lithography machine with an overlay accuracy of 1.9 nanometers and a price of 450 million yuan, which is 40% cheaper than ASML's equipment of the same level. China took seven years to complete ASML's 20-year technological iteration, and the most eye-catching signpost on this road is the Kirin 9020 chip equipped with Huawei Mate 70. The 7 nanometers performance achieved by DUV equipment plus multiple exposure directly slaps the conclusion that no EUV is not advanced. However, the breakthrough of the lithography machine is by no means a single breakthrough. The NA0.75 objective lens of Changchun Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics, the 60 wharf light source of Kuihong Yuan, and the double work table with 1.7 nanometers precision of Huashua precision technology have a localization rate of over 90% of the next duct components. Why did the Netherlands suddenly open up and sell DUV lithography machines crazily? In 2024, ASML exported six DUV lithography machines to China, including four KIF scanning and two IF models. On the surface, this is a business strategy, but in fact, it hides a mystery using mature equipment to delay domestic substitution while maintaining revenue in the Chinese market. ASML's sales to China soared from 8% to 22%, and the gross profit margin of DUV lithography machines in China was as high as 58%, far exceeding the global average of 42%. But on the other hand, Shanghai Microelectronics 5 billion yuan lithography machine factory in Zhejiang has integrated 200 supply chain companies and plans to mass produce 100 devices in 2025. The game of you sell equipment and I learn technology is very similar to the market for technology of high speed rail technology back then. At the end of 2024, the Netherlands suddenly announced that it would no longer disclose ASML sales data to China, which was nicknamed Fig Leaf by the industry. The reason behind it is simple, the United States puts pressure on export restrictions, but China's mature process production capacity accounts for 30% of the world. If ASML loses this market, the shortage of EUV orders will directly drag down the financial report. 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light. 
The core secrets of the lithography machine are hidden in three black boxes, light source, objective lens, and work table. ASML's EUV lithography machine uses 13.5 nanometers, extreme ultraviolet light to carve chips. The light source needs to bombard liquid tin droplets with lasers 50,000 times per second. The technical difficulty is comparable to carving the Qingming Shangha 2 on rice grains with an embroidery needle. The DPP UV light source breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology is 40% lower in cost than the ASML solution. Although the power has not yet reached the standard, it can stably output 13.5 nanometers wavelength. Another way is more wild Tsinghua University's SSMB EUV project uses synchrotron radiation light source to achieve one machine for 10 factories, directly skipping the traditional EUV technical route. In the field of precision machinery, the coding error of the objective lens of Changchun Institute of Optics, fine mechanics and physics is less than 0.1 nanometers equivalent to one hundred thousandth of a hair, and the positioning accuracy of Huazhou Precision's dual work table is 1.7 nanometers, which is 30% higher than five years ago. It seems boring, but it is the key leap for China's lithography machine from usable to easy to use. Is EUV lithography really the ultimate weapon of the chip war? While ASML is still struggling to decide whether to sell the 2000i DUV lithography machine to China, Wuhan Xinxin has announced that it will build a 3 nanometers test line in 2026, using domestic EUV plus multiple exposure technology. The yield rate of China's 28 nanometers lithography machine exceeds 85%, and the export price is only 8 million US dollars which is one-third of ASML's similar equipment. In Southeast Asia, Chinese companies are replicating the success of high-speed rail going overseas with the model of equipment plus foundry plus technology licensing. What ASML is most worried about may not be that the technology is surpassed, but that Chinese lithography machines, like shield machines, sweep the global market with cost-effectiveness. EUV optical lens coating, high-purity photoresist, and 12-inch wafer mass production, these last bastions, have not yet been conquered. In any case, China's semiconductor industry has proved with 28 nanometers lithography machines, the more severe the blockade, the more powerful the breakthrough. There is no retreat on this road, but going on is victory. ASML is worried about the rise of China's self-developed lithography machines. In 2024, China's orders for self-developed lithography machines will exceed 50. China has completed ASML's 20-year technology journey in seven years, with a localization rate of over 90%. China's 28 nanometers lithography machines have a high yield rate and low export price, and are replicating the high-speed rail overseas model. The more severe the blockade of China's semiconductor industry, the more powerful the breakthrough.